laminar release. So for this one, again, I'm gonna need some of my lubricant. So I'm gonna use the biotone again, and I'm gonna put it right where I'm going. I'm gonna be going in that laminar groove that's in between the SPs and the transverse processes. First, I'm gonna start on this side, and then I'm gonna do one on this side, and then there's even a variation where you can have a thumb on either side of the SP so that you target both sides at the same time. So we put our lubricant on. I'm at the head of the table now. AP stance, neutral spine position. My thumbs are like this on the patient's back. So we're right here. All my weight's on my back leg, and I'm gonna shift my leg to my front leg, my weight to my front leg, sliding down that laminar groove. When I get to the pelvis, I apply a traction force and then slide back to start. Now I'm gonna do the Ips lateral side or the left side in this case. So weights on my back leg, shift it to the front leg. As I drive that force toward the sacrum, separate the hands and traction through the pelvis. Now, if you are shorter and your patient has a longer torso, you may need to go to the side of the table to do this in an efficient way. So I could be here, starting back here, shift my weight onto the front leg, and finish the stroke right here. For those that aren't long enough to get all the way to the sacrum from the head of the table, this third variation you aren't going to do. That's where you have a thumb on either side. And you can see now there's some space between my thumbs. That's where the spinous process is sitting. And then we separate the hands and push toward the feet. So we're never like this, always like that. Flat hands, flat thumbs, big weight shift, traction at the end. So here we've got another view, a closer view of the hands. And just wanted to also comment that this technique is one that you can, again, work through the layers. You can start more superficially with your first stroke. You can sink a little deeper with each subsequent stroke, trying to target deeper and deeper tissues as you do the stroke in sequence. So you can see I'm just on the left side right now. Big weight shift. Always at full hand contact. I'm just gonna do one where both thumbs are separated and we're getting on the right end, left side. 